Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and uh, you're welcome to this uh, broadcast from Mount Zion Fresh Fire International Ministries. Uh, I want to welcome you all, uh, the viewers all over the world. God bless you for watching. God bless you for tuning in. God bless you for signing in. God bless you for subscribing. Uh, I want to bless your name i want to bless you jesus i want to bless you jesus for the viewers in the name of jesus and uh, quickly child of god i want to drop something in your heart in your spirit that will encourage you in this month of april you see the month of april has come uh, for a testimony it has come for a purpose it has come to revitalize your faith in christ jesus hallelujah so the month of April, you are welcome to this month of April, which has come to build you up in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, quickly, I want to share something with you uh, from the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse number 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse number 6, child of God. I want to share briefly on a subject I titled, Stability in Jesus Christ. Stability in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Child of God, you will agree with me that nowadays, what we need is stability. You will agree with me that what we need today is stability. There is chaos all over the world, from left to right, north, south, east, west. There is chaos all over the world. There is instability. Jesus is speaking. In me, you will find peace. In me, you will find rest. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm sharing on the topic, stability in Jesus Christ. Now, in Colossians chapter 1, verse number 6, let me quickly read it from the NIV version. Just follow me, please. If you have your Bible, uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse number 6. It says, So then... Just as you received Jesus Christ as your Lord, take note, as you received Jesus Christ as your Lord, continue to live in him. Verse 7, rooted and built up in him. Strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Or thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Now the place we read from in Col Colossians chapter 1 verse number 6. I'm talking on the subject. Stability in Christ Jesus. In these days. Child of God. We are living in the end time. We are living in the end time. Bible says. When you hear rumors of war. Calamities. Plagues. Earthquakes. Nation against nations, father against son. If you look at all of these things, these are the signs of the end time. And we are now in the end time. And Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Jesus is coming back soon. Now, in this end time, in these last days, what we need is stability in the faith. Stability in the faith. Stability in the faith which comes by the Holy Ghost and in Jesus Christ. We need stability in our faith. I just came to encourage somebody. I came to encourage that brother, that sister watching. I came to encourage you. Stability is what you need. Stability in Christ Jesus. Stability in your faith and by the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, you discover that uh, uh, all you need is stability. All you need stability in every area of life. Now, if you watch something in the world today, people are scared. There is fear all over because there is no hope anymore. Because when there is no hope, there is fear. When there is fear, there is no stability. But when there is faith, when there is faith, there is hope. When there is hope, there is stability. Mm. When there is faith, there is hope. When there is hope, there is stability. Now, when there is faith only in Christ, then it births hope. When there is faith in Christ Jesus, 
it birds it birds hope, and hope birds stability. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So I'm talking on the subject stability in Jesus Christ. Now, no stability, there's fear. No stability means fear. Now, if you look at something, stability in the world is not... Oh, let me put it this way. There is no stability in the world anymore. Better explain, there is no stability in the world anymore. Stability is only in Jesus Christ, the person of Jesus Christ, the person of the Holy Ghost, the person of God Almighty. Now, where we read from quickly, where we read from in First Colossians chapter, Colossians chapter 1, verse number 6. So then, just as you received Jesus Christ as your Lord, so in order for stability to be in your life, Jesus must be your Lord and Savior. In order for there to be stability in your life, Jesus Christ must be your Lord and your Savior. Just as you received Jesus as your Lord. So stability begins, number one, by receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord. By accepting him as your Lord. For there to be stability, like I said, Jesus must be the Lord of your life. The Savior of your life. So it is all about him, not about your skills. Stability I'm talking about, remember, there's no stability in the world. The world system, there's no stability. Economy, there's no stability. Your job, there's no stability. But stability is only in Christ Jesus. So your skills has nothing to do with stability. Your skills have nothing to do with stability. Your abilities, your intellect has nothing to do with the stability I'm talking about. It is all about the person of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So like I said in verse number 6, it says, it says, continue to live in him. Con you received him as your Lord and Savior. That's beautiful. But stability comes only when you continue to live in him. When there's continuation, the Bible says it is in him that we live and move and have our being. It is in him that we live, move, and have our being. So, our being is defined by us being in Christ. So, there must be continuity in the work with him. There must be continuity, consistency, consistency, consistency. So, it says, uh, uh, verse, it, it says, Continue to live in him. So you discover that you, for there to be stability, you must be consistent with your work with Christ. You must be consistent with your work. You must be consistent to live. It is in him that will live, move, have our being. It is in him that we live. So you must be consistent in your living in Christ. You must be consistent. That your life must be consistent to be in Christ. Then you can now move in faith, move in hope, move in assurance. Then there is now stability by faith and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So I said, so receiving Christ is not enough, but your consistency to live in him. Is what brings the result of stability. Now, many are not consistent with the things of God. In this end time, people are not consistent with even the scriptures. They are not consistent even with their worship and prayers. They are not consistent in seeking the face of God. But we are consistent about the message or the news that's going around the world. And the news going around the world will develop, will give birth to faith. Sorry, will give birth to fear. The news in the world give birth to fear, not faith. Fear. 
And when there's fear, there's no stability. And Jesus is saying, be consistent in me. Then you're able to move in hope. Because your being is defined by number one, you being in Christ Jesus. And to live in him and to move in him. Then stability is the end product. Hallelujah. So in order for you to continue to live in him, it has to do with love for him. You cannot continue, you cannot be consistent to live in Christ if you don't love Jesus Christ. So it begins with the love of God. When you love him, you become consistent with him. So it begins with love of Christ. Then it now goes now to knowledge. There must be love, number one, there must be love. There must be knowledge of him, the love of him, the knowledge of him. Knowledge is birthed from what? Knowledge is birthed from what? It's birthed from the word of God. Knowledge is from the word of God. And it's through prayers. Hallelujah. I wrote something down here quickly. Let me share with you. There's something I wrote down here. I said, consistency by faith will birth stability. Then I said, when you live in a house, when you live in a house, Jesus says, he says, like we read in Colossians chapter 1, verse number 6. He said, so then, just as you receive Christ as your Lord, continue to live in him. Now, I wrote something down here. I said, if you are living in a house, if you are living in a house, that house protects, number one, that house is a shelter for you. It shelters you. It protects you. It provides for you. It nourishes you. So when you live in a house, is the house responsibility to take care of you? Let me put it this way. When you live in Christ, abide in him, it is his responsibility to take care of you. And this must be birthed out of genuine love for him. Consistency in Christ Jesus. And true faith by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says, if you go down a little bit, let me go down a little bit. It says, not just to con it says, continue to live in him, rooted and builded. Rooted and builded in him. To live in him is not enough. You must be rooted and builded in him. Have you discovered that the palm tree, the palm tree is one of the trees that the, that the roots, they go deep down and they spread out. That is why it is difficult for a wind, for wind to push down the palm tree. Why? Because the roots are deep down and they are scattered. Therefore, when the palm tree is in an environment, it saps all the water to itself for stability, for production. What am I saying? He said, you must be rooted and built up in him. I receive him as my Lord and Savior. I live in him, but I must be consistent. And as I'm consistent, I now began to do what? Through the scriptures, study the scriptures and the knowledge of him who has called us out of virtue. He has called us. So when I'm consistent, what happens now is I am rooted by the word. Rooting is by the scriptures, by studying the scriptures, by the word of God. And through prayers by the aid of the Holy Ghost, we are now become rooted with knowledge and to know him. The more I know him through his word, the more I have faith and confidence in him. And the more I love him and I draw closer to him. Therefore, the more closer I am to Jesus Christ, the more stable my life is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So you have to be rooted. And I said, only by faith and through the Holy Ghost. Now, in Colossians chapter 3, verse number 16, let me share something quickly. Colossians 3, verse number 16. There's something I wrote down here. Colossians 3, verse number 16. It says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. 
let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Now, the more the word dwells in you richly, the more faith is birth, the more hope you walk in hope and in assurance. And the more you walk in hope and assurance, the more stable your life is. Because the more of the word in you means the more of Christ in you, the more stable you are. So what we need now is Jesus in me, the hope of glory. Jesus in me, Christ in me, Christ in you is what you need. It's what gives you stability. But there are levels of stability. There are levels of stability, which comes by the love of God and comes next by the knowledge of him who has called you. Knowledge is vital this end time. Hallelujah. So you must be rooted and build up. Means you have to build up yourself in him. The pastor, God is, Jesus is, is, is God. Um, how, do, how, how can I build myself in him? Yes, you can, by the word of God. By studying the word of God. By fasting. By prayers. By living a righteous life. This helps to build up your life. By living as a living sacrifice. It builds up your life. It roots you up in him. But when sin is present, you cannot be rooted or built up in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm talking on the subject again. Stability in Jesus Christ. Stability in Jesus Christ. Now, after being rooted in him, he says, strengthen in the faith. That's verse number, verse number seven. Rooted and built up in him, strengthen in the faith as you were taught. Strengthen in the faith. Which faith? The gospel of Jesus Christ. I said something. You remember Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it says strengthen in, you, in the faith as you were taught. Strengthen in your faith. Now, I may ask you a question. Who are you listening to? Who you listen to? Who you speak to? Who you talk to? These people determine your life style or standard. The person that teaches you has a lot to do with your destiny or destination. The person you listen to all the time. The books you read. The person you talk to has a lot to do. And scripture says, strengthen in the faith. Strengthen in the faith, I wrote something here, which means that whoever is teaching you, who you're listening to, has a lot to do with your destiny and destination. Because people can talk you out of your destiny, while some can talk you into your destiny. When the word is corrupted and perverted and diluted because of gain sake, it takes you out of your purpose, out of it redirects you to a carnal life, to a mundane life. But when the word is preached out of conviction by the Spirit of God and to glorify Jesus, it leads you into your purpose, your destiny. So who you listen to matters. This in time, there's chaos everywhere. Who do you listen to? It says, Be strengthened in your faith, in the faith as you were taught. Most people they listen from the TV. As you listen from the TV, the TV will teach you the world standard junk in or garbage in, garbage out. Hallelujah. So, who is your teacher? Determine your destination. Who do you listen to? Determine your destination. Who do you speak to? The demonstration of destination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm talking on the subject, stability in Christ. I just want to encourage somebody this evening. I just want to encourage somebody this evening. I want to encourage you, brother. I want to encourage your sister. Listening to me this evening. Stability is still available if we can be serious with Jesus Christ. Stability in our lives, in every area of our life, it can be stable if we allow Jesus to enter every area of our lives. 
Don't say, oh, Jesus, enter my living room, but don't go to my bedroom. Don't go to my kitchen. Don't go to my toilet. It doesn't work that way. Jesus is not half. He is full. When you say, Jesus, come into my house, means he has access to every area of your house. Then he makes it better. Then he makes it better and establishes you. So what I'm saying is, if you want your life, the areas of our life where you're looking that they are not stable, allow Jesus, allow him to come into your life and be the master of your life in totality. But you see, many will not do this because, you see, you, you see, we profane the scriptures every day, but our life does not reflect the scriptures. When we gather in church, we look holy and acceptable unto God. But the real you is known when nobody is around. No church member is around. That's when you know who is who. Show me your friends and I will show you. I will tell you who you are. So where are the results? You can see even children of God, some of the children of God nowadays, they are they're, they're living in fear. Why? Check very well. Ask them, what is, it, what is your life like? Number one, your, number one, your fiscal life. Are you living a righteous life or you're living a sinful life? Because when you're living in sin, Jesus Christ is absent in your life. Therefore, fear is your master. But when, but when you're living as a righteous person, the Bible says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And remember I said last time, faith is Jesus Christ. Faith is a person. So the just person shall live by Jesus. The just shall live by faith. Means anyone who is living just, who is living righteously, lives by faith, lives by Jesus. So Jesus now becomes his carrier, becomes his burden barrier. Becomes his burden bearer, which means that he becomes his provider, his shelter, his everything. It is only in Jesus that there's stability. In the world, there's no stability. Hallelujah. Our families, there's no stability. It's only in Christ Jesus that there's stability. I just came to encourage you, child of God. Jesus is calling on us so he can establish us in him. He said, on the last days, the mountain of the Lord shall stand high. When the mountain of the Lord stands that means it is stable, means everybody can see it and know that this is the mountain of the Lord. Not just a mountain, but it's stable. So he's saying that I want to build your life that way, that men will come to you, they're like, what is happening? And you shall tell them, it is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you, sister. I want to encourage you, brother. We are living in the most crucial time of life where the trumpet can sound anything. The trumpet can sound anytime. And you need to be stable with your work with Jesus in order to make it on that day. If there's no stability in Christ, if you, if you are not, number one, if you are not in Christ Jesus, you are out of it. If you say, I accepted him one time as my Lord and Savior, are you walking, walking right with him? If not, my brother, my sister, dedicate your life back to Jesus. Because you are living in the end time where anything can happen anytime. Rapture can happen anytime. Let's not focus on, uh, let's not focus on the worldly standard. Don't look up to the world, look up to Christ. What am I saying? Don't focus on what, what is happening around you. Focus on him, the author and the finisher of our faith. Stability is only in Christ Jesus. The companies have failed to show you that man is limited. Above all, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, the ancient of this. I just came to encourage you today, brothers and sisters, listening to me. I want to encourage you. Where did you first meet Jesus Christ? Go back to the place where you first met him as your first love. That same flea you had for him the first time you came to him, go back to that place. You will see a difference in your life. Hallelujah. Go back to where you met Jesus Christ. Go back to where he met you. He's always available. But we are not always available. So the problem is not him. The problem is we, man. Jesus is saying, my hands, my, his arms are open. He loves us more than the way we love him. He loves, Jesus loves us more than the way we love him. And he said, my son, my daughter, come back to me. All those who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Because when you have rest, 
the stability in your life. Come unto me, all those who are weary and heavy laden, and I, the Lord, I will give you rest. Stability, rest is instability. It can be rest on everything. Remember the scripture says, they could not enter his rest because of unbelief. They could not enter. Even though God was there, the opportunities were there, but they could not enter because they, they did not believe. And Jesus is saying, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I'm the Alpha and Omega. It's not just to profess him, it's to live him now. Live in Christ. Hallelujah. I just want to encourage somebody with this word. Live ready. Live prepared. For we are living in the end time. And Jesus Christ loves you so much. The Holy Ghost is always there to help you in our weaknesses. Remember, as a child, we are more than conquerors. Through Christ, therefore, make sure your relationship with Jesus is intact every second. Every second, every minute, every day, make sure your relationship with Jesus Christ is intact. It's intact. Because you are living in the end time. So I want to encourage somebody, fear not. For if you are in Christ, there is no fear. The world might collapse. Only those who are in Christ will stand high. Only those who are, those who are in Christ will stand tall. I did not say only those, I didn't say those who are in church. I didn't say those who are preaching. Those who are singers. Those who are ushers. I didn't say that. Those who are church, I didn't say those who go to church. I said only those who are in Christ Jesus genuinely will stand out. Only those who are in Christ Jesus will stand out. Malachi chapter number 3. Verse number 18. It is a time where the righteous will be separated from the unrighteous. Those who are serious with Jesus, those who are genuine, it is now that you will see that God himself will put a separation mark. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that there is still stability in Christ. Forever will it be that only Jesus alone the stability in him. True faith and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't give up during this time. Don't give up during this period of time. Go more closer to him. Love him more. Go closer to Jesus Christ like never before. Go closer to him like never before. Look at what is happening around. Look at what's happening around. But let your eyes focus on Jesus. Let your heart, your thought on him. Because look at what is happening around the world. It shows you that the world has failed. But trust me what I'm telling you. It is only in Christ Jesus that is stability. And Jesus says, I am your stabilizer. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Life will be beautiful. Things will spring up. Things will rise up in your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, don't give up on Jesus. He's waiting on you to build up your faith. He's waiting on you. For that walk, he's waiting on you to come back to the place where you used to be. You used to worship him in spirit and truth. Where you used to praise him, he's calling on you. When we begin to do these things, stability will be our portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I go, please, if you are watching us, whatever you are watching us from, Facebook or YouTube, please if you have not accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'm sure this is why I came up. Please, we should stop playing with church, stop playing with Jesus Christ, and start walking and loving Him in genuine spirit and truth. For a time has come. This is the true time to test genuine believers. And Jesus says, if you can come back to me, I'm ready to accept you and forgive you. Hallelujah. If you, ask, if you say, no, I received him some time ago, examine your life and see if you're still in Christ Jesus. Examine your life. Some of us, we need to rededicate our life back to him. Because most people have a shock on that day. I used to be in a choir. I used to be an usher. So what? It doesn't matter. I used to be a preacher. So what? Do you have a relationship with him? Genuine relationship with him? Are you living a righteous life? If not, you need to dedicate our life back to Jesus Christ. Let's stop pretending. Let's be real with him. For a living in the end time. 
If you're that person I'm talking to, just say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, let me pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I open my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I confess my sins before you, Lord. I'm sorry. Have mercy. Forgive me. Wash me from my iniquities with the power and the blood of Jesus. Let your blood wash me from my iniquities in the mighty name of Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Come and live in my heart. Jesus, thank you. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you pray that prayer, let me pray with you. Father, Lord, I commit that son and daughter who just pray this prayer into your holy hands. Lord Jesus, I commit into your holy hands. I ask for your grace upon their lives. Help them. Draw them closer to thee. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Stay strong. Stay tall. Build yourself in Christ. Go back to the word of God. Go back to studying the scriptures. Go back to the place of worship. Go back to the sacred place of the Lord. That is where the circuit of the Lord is revealed to us. That is the place of stability. Above all, the place of stability is in the second place. God bless you all.